Hello! Welcome! This video will show you how to make a tube puppet. If you'd like to make a tube puppet, you're going to need some tubes. So we've got a tube from kitchen paper and a toilet roll middle. And it's important that your kitchen paper tube fits inside your toilet roll tube. It needs to be able to slide up and down. You're also going to need A4 paper, ruler, scissors, pencil, glue stick and some felt tips. So to get started we need to measure the paper out to the right size. So with one of our pieces of A4 I'm going to take the long tube and make the end level at the bottom of the paper and I'm just going to put a couple of little marks on the paper at the end of the tube. I'm going to use my ruler to join those marks up like that and then I'm going to cut that piece off. Okay, and we're going to save that piece because we're going to use that later. We also need to work out how wide we need the piece of paper to be. So I'm going to wrap that around the tube and then I only need it to overlap a little tiny bit so I'm just going to put a couple of marks where it's going to overlap and there and exactly the same join those up it's a bit wonky but never mind sure it'll be fine and again I'm going to save that piece for later and then I'm going to do exactly the same with the small tube so another piece of paper again make the end line up at the bottom of the paper and pop that on a couple of little marks join it up and cut it off Don't need that bit. I'll use that bit for something else. I'll wrap it around the tube. And two more marks. And join them up. And we're going to save this little bit as well because we can use that. Okay, so next thing you need to think about is what you want your puppet to be. So, I've got a few designs over here that I've had a think about. So, I thought maybe I could do a crazy aerobics lady, or wide mouth frog that's eating a fly, or a cat. So I think I'm going to make the cat today. So you need to take your two pieces of paper, I'm going to lay the small one on top of the big one so that it touches the bottom. It should be a bit wider either side. And I'm going to draw some big eyes and a little nose. Give it some pupils and some eyebrows. I'm not sure if cats have eyebrows, but mine has. And then I'm going to draw the top of the mouth here. Now the bottom of the mouth is going to be on the little piece of paper. So to make sure it all lines up properly, I'm going to use my ruler to draw down onto this piece of paper. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Down like so. And then join it up. I'm going to give my cat some lips. Draw there and then use my ruler again to make the lips join up. And now I'm just going to add a few details. So mine's going to have pointy teeth. Maybe he thinks he's a, a bit of a tiger 
and some at the bottom and the tongue some whiskers okay now it's time to start colouring now I'm just going to colour mine really quickly you can take your time doing yours if you leave a little white area in your pupils on the eyes it makes it look a bit more alive a little highlight there I'm going to give it a pink nose and pink lips when you colour this part in it doesn't matter if you go down past that bottom line there because you're not going to see it so just neaten those up a bit now it looks like I've got a cat wearing lipstick and it's a good idea to do the bottom part of your mouth the same colour as the top part so it all looks like it's the same mouth and I'm going to give it some bright pink inside And there. I'm not going to worry too much about that bit. And around the top. And so we give it the same little with his nose. Okay, now I'm just going to put a few stripes on mine to make it into a tabby cat. Now you don't need to put too much colour around the back because you won't see that. If you need to do one area that's a lot of colour, you could use some coloured paper like I've done on this one because if I wanted to colour all that yellow it would have used all my yellow felt it. You could also use some magazine page or a bit of wrapping paper if you've got any spare. Okay I'm now going to take a piece of paper that I had left over from trimming it off. I'm going to make some arms so oops I'm going to draw a line like that and one a couple of centimetres underneath. You need to make your arms long enough so that they can wrap around your tube. So let's put a few toes on his paws like that and I'm going to put some pads on and um, the other end and then I'm just going to cut that out hopefully without chopping any of these toes off again you can take a lot longer doing this So those are going to be his arms and then on this little piece of paper I'm going to make some ears. So as mine's a cat I'm just going to do a couple of triangles with a bit of pink in the middle. Now we've got all the pieces we need. I'm going to tidy up. We just need to stick it all together. So I'm going to stick the big piece first. It's on the back. Get the glue. 
put it around. You need to make sure you do your edges really well because the other tube's going to slide over it. And you don't want it coming apart. So, glue up the middle. This can be a little bit tricky, but I've found that if you hold it upright and stick the middle part of your paper first, then you can wrap around to fill one end and hopefully the other end matches up nicely. Then we're going to do exactly the same on the little tube. So again, plenty of glue around the edges. Oh, and a bit on the mat. There we go. Going to stand it up in the middle, and then wrap it round. It's gone a little bit wonky, but it doesn't matter because it's round the back. So this part can now slide in, and our puppet's starting to take shape. Just need to pop the ears on. So I'm going to put glue on the front of the ears. Now, depending on what your character is, you could put hair on, or horns, or a hat, or some antennae if you're making an alien. It's completely up to you. You can go really crazy. You could add wool to it. Anything else you've got lying around. There we go. And then the arms, you're just going to put glue in the middle there. And these need to stick onto your small tube. So they're going to go round the back at the top of your small tube and they can curl around a little bit. And there you have it. There's your puppet. And I think mine says, meow, meow. And a friend's come over to have a look. And this one goes, so you can have a great time if you get all your friends to make them and you can put on a puppet show and get your family over and just see what you can come up with and have fun. So from Kitty Cat and Fido, bye bye!